we are about ready to do another quick cleaning tip video. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. What's up ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Tim from Over the Years. This is your first time checking us out. I am a full-time reseller on six platforms. That's eBay, Etsy, Macari, Depop, Poshmark, and Grailed. Um, we are about ready to do another quick cleaning tip video using one of our favorite products, and that is Peak. Where's the Peak? You can see we use this guy a lot. So, got the Peak right here. Uh, so what we have here is actually I sold these bowls now the funny thing is is I had these bowls for a long time and I had bought them before I even knew how to really approach um, marks on bowls like this uh, we you've seen us do similar sort of work on Pyrex bowls um, but I figured I'd try my best to clean these up before I sent them out and maybe the buyer will be even more happy with their purchase so we, what we have here today is a set of three Homer Laughlin Fiesta Ware bowls. As you can see, they are marked right there. Now, this is the marks type of marks that I was telling you, talking about just now. That is on the these bowls. Um, so yeah, you can see they're pretty much all over the bowls right there and then some on the inside as well hopefully you guys can see that so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna peek these up and then I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of before and after pictures um, how these looked so let's uh, get some peek on our rag and start scrubbing all right so got our rag and we got our peak so some of these bowls are pretty intense so what I'm going to do is is I'm just going to put a couple dots around the edges where the black marks are pretty significant Some people may say that's a little much, but what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna work that into the rag and then do the rest of the bowl too. So what you wanna do is, is you know, kinda spread out the dabs a little bit first. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we're spreading out the dabs a little bit around the edges where the bowl has the most marks. And then now we're gonna get into a circular motion First, kind of work that in there. Now you see I have a bunch of leftover in my rag that I'm gonna get into the bowl with. So now it's just about a little bit of the elbow grease. Just wanna work. some of these other, other areas. And 
Now, I wish I would have known this about this before because I probably would have been able to get more money for these bulls had I cleaned them. All right, so now as you, whew, that's a workout. Now that you've gotten that elbow grease in there, there's gonna be a couple of spots that aren't gonna come out, but I mean, you could already see the difference. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse that off. Good dry. And you can find the link to buy uh, some peak in the description of this video. So yeah, already you can see. Look at the difference on that. Insane. Crazy. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another bowl. All right. So this one, it's got some heavy duty scratching, black scratches, tensile marks, however you wanna call them. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. at the difference on that bowl already and I mean like a lot of times you know you might pick a piece up and just that those black marks marks might turn you off so it's really important to have tricks like these up your sleeve because especially when you're at yard sales and stuff like that like where people might underprice something because they think that you know it's got that damage on it but that damage can sometimes be removed all right gave it a quick rinse now we dry it off These people who get these balls are gonna be like, what? So, be a nice little surprise. Look at that, inside, outside, look at the bottom. Absolutely crazy. Gorgeous bowl now. All right, next bowl. The white one is actually not that bad. Um, it's more on the inside on this one, but we're gonna give them three clean bowls. That's what we do. bottom of that completely gone that's amazing all right let me get the inside really quick probably gonna have to order some more peak here soon but it does last a very long it does last a long time Because you don't really need to use a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. Make sure you get the edges. And 
and then voila, inside. Crazy. So now this person is gonna get three bowls that they thought were scratched to heck, but we peaked them, baby. So now they're good to go. Hopefully they're happy. Hopefully you learn the power of the peak. Um, like I said, if you guys want to grab some of this for yourself, if you haven't seen, we also did a cleaning video on Pyrex. We also use peak on Pyrex. I'll put a link up top for you guys for that video. Um, and you guys can kind of now take something that you thought wasn't as valuable because of damage and you can get those black scratches off of your Fiesta wear, your Pyrex, anything. So hope you guys learned something. Thank you as always. Now I'm gonna show you guys some before and after pictures. Cool.